for it? Hey, Miss Jenny, aren't you excited that this is Gingerbread House Day in the clubhouse? And look at all the ornaments we got oh. on the tree. It's oh, absolutely it's so shiny. beautiful. Oh. I love our tree. So, you know what, Miss Jenny? I want to make, instead of a gingerbread house, I want to make another stable with the animals. Well, now, I think I heard a fun fact, you know, fun fact from last week. Yes. Platypuses, it's platypuses or platypi, either platypi. one, just so we can clear that up from last week. Platypi. But platypi. I, I have heard that they don't mention the animals at all in the Christmas story in the Bible. This is true. This is true. But Mary rode on a donkey. So what did the donkey do? Did he just go to the bus stop and leave after he got them to the stable? I, no, I get it. I, and it was a, a stable. That's so right. Who stays that's in right. the stable? Lots of, lots of things. I just... And the manger? Yeah. Well, oh, I just... There has I, to be... I just feel like something's watching me. I don't know. I just... I feel like... I don't know. Do you but, think our tree has eyeballs? I don't, I don't watching know. Watching us? I, I, no, well, we'll get to get that. Well, what do you think? Can we, you know, we, we're not going to write a song today because, you know that song, there are songs about the Christmas animals. There are. Of course, are. I know that songs are, are meant to enhance and, and give us worship and praise, but I think it'll be fun to talk about some of the songs that include animals while we try to turn some of our gingerbread into animals. What do you think, okay. Miss Jenny? Okay. 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 What okay. was one of the songs? Uh, well, um, the one that I know really well is Away in a Manger. Oh, yes. And that second verse. Yes. That second verse. Can you sing that, Miss Jenny, about the cattle are lowing? Okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, here we go. I have a little scratch in my voice today. That's so, okay. That's okay. Um, It'll just get us in the spirit for making these. Okay. okay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. Because he's Jesus. That's right. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky, and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Maybe that's who's looking at you, Jenny. Ma maybe. maybe it's Jesus. Maybe. Maybe it's Jesus. I just, I just don't know. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, there is a song. Do you, I, so we at, think... We think that the cattle are lowing. If the cattle are lowing, I always liked that. I always had to ask my mom and dad what lowing meant because I thought it was like, what, what, what does that mean? But they're just lowing and they're just making their soft mooing sound. Do you think? Do you yeah. think that the cattle are sleeping? They might be. They might be settling down for the for the evening. And you know, sometimes when a baby's sleeping, yeah, this cow's got to dress up. Yeah. So we yeah. have to, we yeah. have to, we, we don't have want to be, turn, or do we want to be politically yes, correct? Yes, we want to be here. appropriate. We don't, sit like yes. a lady. Sit like a lady. Yeah, cross those two front hooves. Yes. You know, when you sit there. Yes. Okay. And do you think, Miss Jenny, there had to be sheep? <laughs> there had to be sheep. Because, you know why I think there were sheep? It doesn't say. Luke 2 doesn't say there were sheep at the bank. But the shepherds were oh, yeah. sent. And well, I just bet that some of those sheep might have fallen over. Well, it kind of been irresponsible for them to just leave them. You know, they without anybody watching. Yes. They had to, and, yeah. And hark. Hark, yeah. Hark. The, the angel told the shepherds to go. Yes. So, you know, you just think there had to be sheep, and you know what? I just, I just love the sound of a baby sheep. <laughs> love that sound. And well, Miss Jenny, here's a big one. Here is a big one, boys and girls, big boys and girls. It does say that Mary traveled on a donkey. 
donkey, donkey, donkey. Yeah, I don't know where our donkey went. I, we had a donkey. He was here last week. Um, oh, I hear him. I hear him. I hear the donkey. Oh, Miss Jenny. Oh, that's now I know. Now our donkey is here. I wondered who was staring at me. Now that donkey's got a. Oh, look yeah. at those big eyes I'm that donkey you. has. And listen to him talk. You know, maybe if we ask the donkey to share in donkey talk what the donkey did carrying Mary. Let's listen. It was such a big responsibility. Oh, 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 oh wow. He said it was a big yeah. responsibility. That's you know lot. what? I bet he was tired when he got there. And he I bet the that was one to tired Jesus. donkey. I bet Ooh. he went... Yeah. Do you think so? <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> you know what, Miss Jenny? When I think of all these animals and we look in the Bible at Luke 2, Christmas story, boys and girls, big boys and girls, if you're ever on Jeopardy or, or Millionaire, you won't even need a lifeline when they ask, where in the Bible is the story of Jesus' birth? Everybody should know. Luke 2. Who? Luke 2. New Testament. Two. Luke 2. But it says, Joseph took Mary to Bethlehem to register. Now, families, I want you to get the Bible out. When you go, oh, Miss Donna, we know that story. Sit with your family. Read through this. Assign the parts and act it out. And you can even add animals. You know, we've had, and we don't play with fire in children's ministry is the reason we haven't lit our candles. But if you have your Advent wreath at home, you know, you can light your third candle of love. And you think, Miss Jenny, about the love of God for us that he sent his one and only son, John 3, 16. He sent his only son for us. And I also think about these animals that I do believe were at the stable. You know, my family could be in the middle of a field and if there is a muskrat, it would find my son and daughter-in-law and attached to them. And we would end up taking it to the vet, spending some money, feeding it, finding it a home, because animals are attracted to love. That's right. They know who loves them. We, the Bible does refer to us, human beings, as sheep. You know, sheep, and, they, and it refers to Jesus as the shepherd. You know what? Sheep are beautiful, but they're kind of dumb, and they, they get out. Of, they get up. They they lose their way, and that shepherd had a crook staff that he could pull them back, and that's what happens for us kids. If we lose our way, Jesus is always there. So as we light this candle of love in your home, you've got the candle of hope, the candle of faith and joy that we talked about, and then the candle of love. Boys and girls, we love you, and we love God, and we love that he loved us enough that his only son could be born as a baby. And I have to know, since the Bible does use animals in so many different passages, that there were animals attracted to that baby Jesus. Just like we are the sheep and we're attracted to that love. Thank you boys and girls and stay tuned. Do not click off because we have another segment that's a little bit different today about the third candle and the love of Christ. We love you. Love you. Keep watching. Bye-bye. Ropes, yeah. Ropes and hot chocolate. That's what Oh, good. You did find it. I did. I did. <laughs>
It's a little different this year, but you know what? It's gonna be great. It's okay, it'll still be special. <laughs> there we go. All right, story time. Okay. Luke 2. We're gonna read about how God gave us baby Jesus. <laughs> In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. And the king's rule meant that everybody had to take a trip back to the place that they came from. So right before Mary was supposed to have her baby, Joseph and Mary had to go on a long, long, long trip to Bethlehem. <laughs> yep, that's right. But they didn't have a car like we do. Did they have a plane? <laughs> mm -mm. They actually had to ride on a donkey. Whoa. You know. The yeehaw, yeehaw. <laughs> yeehaw, yeehaw. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and when they got to Bethlehem, everybody else had come back too. So that means there were no hotels or guest rooms for them. So that means Mary and Joseph had to stay in a place with all the animals. Would you want to sleep next to a sheep? Mm -mm. It'd be bad. <laughs> bad. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now. While Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn. It was a boy. She wrapped him in large cloths. Then she placed him in a manger. Yeah. God loves us so much that he gave us baby Jesus. That's right. And to celebrate that, we're going to light this special candle to remember how much God loves us. Do you think you can help me? Yeah, you can do it. There yeah, you go. Good job. <laughs> good job. Come here. Your mom's gonna get your sister. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see your sister? <laughs> be gentle, be gentle. There you go. <laughs> good job. job. 